The first project is called The Blogging Hobbit, a task-based fan fiction project culminating in the writing of a collaborative story of a missing moment from Tolkien's The Hobbit and published in a blog or online fan fiction archive. For this project, students were organized into groups of three to six and asked to carry out a series of subtasks that resulted in the publication and presentation of a story depicting a missing moment. Each student was required to contribute at least six paragraphs to their group story and to write from the perspective of one character from The Hobbit. This required careful attention to the character's way of speaking and behaving. The overall project consisted of four parts. One, the creation of a map and outline to help guide each group in their writing. Two, the published collaborative story. Three, an individual reflective essay in which students wrote about linguistic and literary choices they attended to, and four, a group oral presentation on the process. The resulting 31 stories ranged in length from 2,000 to just over 16,000 words. In their reflective papers, the majority of students identified ways in which the collaborative fan fiction task enhanced their language learning at the lexical level. In particular, Several pointed out that mimicking the language of the Hobbit required them to understand and use words that were more old-fashioned or for formal than they were used to using. As one student wrote, This writing activity has influenced my language skills. During this project, I've been able to expand my repertoire of English words, which are not so commonly used in everyday English anymore. Lexical development was identified by a range of students, including those who identified as more proficient in English, and found that imitating the writing style in The Hobbit allowed them to expand their vocabulary, particularly with respect to adjectives and adverbs, which they found characteristic of Tolkien's writing. Some students who identified as non-readers of fiction described how the task in particular led to the development of vocabulary or grammar knowledge useful for creative writing. I'm not that much of a reader of fiction compared to others, and I feel that my vocabulary have increased when it comes to creative writing. Beyond discrete vocabulary item learning, more than a third of all students felt that the collaborative writing task improved their ability to write in English. Most of them emphasized development in the area of creative writing in particular because they had little to no experience with creative writing, while others identified an improvement in overall writing fluency. As one student said, after a short while, the writing became very fluent, and I did not have to think too hard before writing. In addition, a few self-identified weaker writers described an overarching improvement in their writing accuracy, which they attributed to the peer feedback they received during the collaborative writing process. Careful reading to accurately capture the voice of their particular character was commented on by more than half the students. For some students, this took the form of trying to capture the character's idiosyncratic speech style, which included a fondness for riddles, but also grammatically incorrect speech, which we can see an example of here on the screen. Another student wrote this about his character. I really tried to make Gollum's language from the movies work together with the features specific to the book. He does speak grammatically incorrect, and that was a bit tricky to make work as of making him understood. The student went on to point out one of the advantages of the assignment, though. I have not worked in this way before with reading and writing where you tend to go back to your book like a dictionary to highlight special features from your character. One of the questions I'm often asked about classroom fanfiction is how good it is or how it compares to the fanfiction fans write online. To investigate this, I did a keyword analysis, a type of corpus-based analysis that looks for keywords that appear with unusual frequency in one group of text compared to another. One can also look for negative keywords, or words that are unusually infrequent in a corpus compared to another. In order to do this, I compiled a corpus of online fanfiction from the fanfiction site Arc of Our Own, AO3, that was written during the same period as my students' fanfiction, was similar in length and rating, and was a similar genre. In other words, no explicit stories, no romance, or no alternate universe stories. 